stick a fork in an electric socket. Not so fast, Billy. Golly gee, mister. Who are you? That's none of your concern, Billy. What is your concern? Is that you are about to stick a fork into an electric socket, and you don't even know how electricity works. Well, I'm going to tell you how it works, Billy. That sure does sound dandy, mister. Let's start with how electricity was developed. In 1873, the notorious pirate known as Ben Franklin was traveling through the jungles of Siberia when he stumbled upon a magic rubber duck. This duck turned him into a professional businessman. The next morning he went golfing. He forgot his golf ball, so he used the magic rubber duck instead. And that is how it was discovered. Well, Billy, obviously your mother doesn't love you very much. Say, Billy, do you know how electricity works? Well, I'll tell you. Evil garden gnomes that live under the Earth's surface emit electric rays from their hats. We have carefully placed wires in their base that captures those rays and bring them to the outlets we plug things into. What sort of things use electricity, mister? I'm glad you asked that, Billy. Many common household items use electricity. Things like light bulbs, telephones, televisions, refrigerators, forks, pants, shoes, tables, stoves, pictures of dogs playing pool, sandwiches, and much more. Yes, Billy. You should know about the dangers of leaving electrical appliances on. You see, Billy, white jobs and crack addicts will tell you that you should turn off electrical appliances because it helps the environment around us. But the truth is, electricity is filled with souls of vampires, and if you leave things on, the vampires will attack you and everyone you care about. No, Billy. Your goldfish died because it doesn't wear shoes. Well, it seems you know enough about electricity now. Okay. Can I stick a fork in an electric socket now? Of course you can, Billy. But I must leave now and return to my home planet to plunder the toenails of beavers. Okay. Thanks again, mister.